Hi, this is Lars Mannon from Capture Sweden. I've created this video to show you some of the new features in version 2.5 of Capture Polar. As video now plays a major role in many of today's productions, we've added a set of features that will help you design and visualize projects with video in Capture. The first thing I want to show you is the material mapping feature. I'm going to take the tester material from the library and apply it to one of the boxes in my design. Then I'll select the box and choose the map material command. An illustration symbolizing the position of the material now appears over the box and I can use the navigator to reposition, resize as well as rotate the material to the position of my liking. When in the material mapping mode the action button now shows other commands related to the material mapping. The map to extend command fills the entire object with the material. And the reset mapping command restores the default position of the material. It's also possible to map the materials of several objects at the same time, which I'm going to show you with a good example. I found a picture on the internet of a wall with a door, which looks like this, that I want to apply to my three boxes. First I'll create a new material. I'm going to call it wall and I'll choose the image from my desktop. Then I'll select the boxes, apply the material and activate the material mapping. When I choose map to extends now that I have several objects selected it creates the illusion of working with just one material. This way I can easily paint the set with my material. Like that. Now let's take a look at the video features. We've replaced the media servers tab with a video tab where you can create any number of video players. Each video player contains a playlist of movie files and I'm going to add a couple of movies from my Archaeos installation. One, two. I can now easily start, pause or rewind any of the movies in the video player. In order to apply the video to an object in the design, I'll have to create the material for it. I'll call it video, and instead of picking an image as I did last time, I'll pick a video source, and in this case the video player I just created. I can now drag and drop that material to any object just as usual. And just as with the image from the internet, I can map it to any number of objects. Now I'm also going to show you how you can use this method to achieve an LED matrix effect. I've created an array of boxes here, which is symbolizing my LED matrix. I'm going to take the video material and apply it to all of them. Then I'll go into the material mapping mode and use the map to extends feature. And as you can see the video is now playing back over all of the individual boxes. If we go back to the video tab and change the playback, this immediately reflects on all of the materials that use it. In addition to this, we've also added the ability to project video. I look up the video projector in the library and add it to my project. Then I'll go to its video property 
and hook it up to the video player I just created. Then all I have to do is turn it on to see the video projected from the projector. At this point I also want to start the demo version of Archaos in the background to show you how easy it is to work with video from CITP compatible media servers. As I start the media server its outputs are immediately shown in the video tab and they also become available as video sources for materials and fixtures. Me and the other guys in the capture team hope you'll enjoy these new features. Thanks for your time.